Hey there with AgriSpray Drones. We're going to show you how this radar and the binocular system on the T40 works on a technical aspect and a few different things about it. So first thing I want to show you is when you go into our settings here, aircraft settings, look at our connection routing and RTH speed. So it's going to be defaulted to somewhere around 20 feet per second. That's return to home and uh, return to breakpoint. If you bump that up, notice over 23 feet per second, it gives you a warning basically saying that the radar um, may not be able to pick up obstacles above that speed. So you have to acknowledge that and click yes and, and realize that, that you are you know, taking on some risk flying that fast. All right, now if we look at our radar settings, notice how all of our radars uh, and everything are on, our obstacle avoidance is on. We'll go down here to obstacle bypassing. So right there we have that turned off. So we're gonna go back out, we'll turn that off and we're going to, you know, this is on route mode here. So we actually have a field planned out there you can see we have our flight speed is set to 32 feet per second. We can actually bump that up a little bit more. 32.8 is as fast as it will allow us to fly. Okay, now let's go back in here and let's go to our radar settings and let's turn our obstacle bypassing on. So what is obstacle bypassing in the first place? This basically means that if the drone sees an obstacle, like a telephone pole or a pivot or a tree, something that it can sense a way around, then it will try to find a path around that obstacle. Uh, on its own without you having to manually intervene. Now you can map out obstacles um, in, you know, in your route on your map. That's the best way to do it. If you don't do that, uh, or if you forget to do that, or if there's an unexpected obstacle, this is where the obstacle bypassing comes in, where it'll sense the obstacle, find a way around it if it can. If you have this turned off, what it does, it sees the obstacle and it just stops and then you fly around it manually. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Now notice we have, we have a warning message here basically saying that yes, it's on and if you're navigating, uh, if the drone is navigating by itself in close proximity to power lines, tree branches, that may be dangerous uh, in terms of the drone crashing. So you do have to enable that. Now let's see what that does to our flight speed. Back out, notice our flight speed is maxed out at 23 now. It was at 30 and we can't go up with that. That's because with that obstacle bypassing on, it limits your flight speed in, in uh, route mode and in AB mode to 23 feet per second. But if we change this over to exit here, change it over to manual plus, manual plus, you can see we can crank that all the way up because, oh, that's our route spacing, sorry. Make our gallons per acre 2, 32 feet per second. There you go, 32 feet per second and our obstacle bypassing is still turned on. That's because this is a manual plus, so a manual, manual plus, you don't have automatically bypassing mode, essentially. Now there's something else that we probably ought to take a look at when it comes to radar. What happens whenever your obstacle bypassing is turned off, or if it's turned on and it has an obstacle that's just too complex for it to get around. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take off. I'm gonna fly the drone a little bit out to the field. I'm gonna hop down there, have the drone fly towards me, until it sees me as an obstacle and then show you what it does whenever it sees me. All right, I'm flying it manually. Don't try this at home. Very slow and controlled towards me. There, you see that jerk? That drone just kind of jerk backwards and put itself in an emergency brake. So I cannot go forward. I've got my stick pushed all the way forward right now and the drone has its brake turned on. What it told me, if you would have had you know, your, your Bluetooth headset in and your sound turned on, it would have said, emergent obstacle avoidance, move stick back to cancel. What that means is your emergency brake is on because it saw an obstacle going forward. The drone is flying forward towards us right now. So forward, it can't go forward. Can't go right, can't go left. The drone is not moving left, right, or forward. So what can it do? Well, you can go up, you can go down. You can turn left and right. But again, now I'm facing away from us. Push forward, still does not go forward, still does not go right, still does not go left. That brake, think about an emergency brake on a car. It is on right now and you cannot take it off unless you push the opposite direction. What about return to home? Let's do that. Let's hop back on the trailer. 
let's say this happens out in the field, it sees an obstacle really far away, you uh, hit return to home, hit return to home, return to home is initiated right now, nothing's happening. Okay, I'm gonna cancel return to home, and change my return to home height, we'll do uh, 23 feet, hit return to home, it still does nothing. So you have to actually move the drone up and down manually if you're in this mode and you need to come back to you over an obstacle, but again, still does not go forward. How do you take it off? Push back. All right, now push forward. That's it, simple as that. If you're not sure which direction you encountered an obstacle, you can look at your screen, your radar screen right there, and it'll show you which direction the obstacle is in. You know, up is forward on the drone, right is right on the stick. So you can see which direction it saw the obstacle. Move the stick in the opposite direction. If it was a passing obstacle, let's say a bird flew out in front of it, well, that bird's gone, but the drone stopped, then what do you do? You don't know which, which direction it came from. Well, just wiggle the stick around in a circle. So just do this right there. One of those directions will be, um, you know, the way, the, the direction that it saw the obstacle, the opposite direction saw the obstacle, and that will take off that emergency brake. All right, something else you guys might notice if this happens, remember that obstacle where I was standing was right behind the trailer. So obviously I'm not there anymore and I can fly the drone around. I'm gonna fly the drone towards that same area here. So you can see it's picking up an obstacle in that same spot. There it is. There you see it says there's an obstacle there. There's no obstacle there, but that's where I was standing. This might happen with the T40. It actually drops like a GPS location where the obstacle was originally at. Even if the obstacle is gone, it's going to think there was something there that was, you know, human shaped potentially, and it's not going to enter that area unless you turn off your obstacle avoidance radar. Just by simply pushing here, pushing there, and then you can fly through it. But just make sure that if it says there's an obstacle there, pull your camera up, make sure that there is in fact no obstacle there, and then you can fly through it with your radar disabled. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks.